quick disclaimer, I did mess up some of the footage when recording, so if you see like low frame rate or just poopy video quality, that's why. So Helldivers 2 just released a few weeks ago. I didn't really hear about it until probably release day, but as soon as I saw all of the silly propaganda and just the parody of the US government, I knew I had to get it immediately because it's so goofy. It's so goofy and it looked really fun. I'm dropping my phone. So I bought it, you know, I, I did a little buying, I did a little gaming and I haven't played a game just so stupidly fun in a very long time. Like a game where no matter what's going on, at least for the most part, I'm still enjoying my experience on the game. I'm not really that bored. I'm not like super mad. Sometimes I get a little frustrated, but I'm not really super mad. I'm not really super bored. I'm just having fun the entire time. Even like when I'm not finishing the mission or I'm not extracting, it kind of sucks, but I still, you know, I still had fun like doing the mission. So there's nine different difficulties on the low end is the baby game for baby gamers and on the high end is the thou shall not survive and uh it doesn't play when it comes to those high difficulties once you start hitting like difficulty seven uh it starts getting kind of rough eight and nine different story dude it's crazy out there one thing i really like about the uh, higher difficulties and stuff is that the enemies don't just get more health i don't even think they do get more health like at all or more damage or anything like that there's just more of them and they get smarter ai so that's why like on the harder difficulties, sometimes you'll see a bug or a bot just kind of out the way of your bullet. And I, I actually really like that. I don't like in games where higher difficulty is just higher number for enemy, basically. Except one of my favorite games does that, but um, you know, it, it, it's, it, it gets a pass. It gets a pass, okay? I think a nice middle ground for soloing once you get a hold of the game and start figuring out really what you're doing is probably six or seven, so extreme or... Just because there's still a decent amount of heavily armored enemies, there's a lot to do, and there's not so many that you just can't handle it by yourself without you know, dying 45 times. Now, like many games, playing alone can be pretty fun on Helldivers, but Playing with friends is really where this game shines. Uh, it is just so much more enjoyable. Like I said, everyone knows that playing with friends on just about any game is more fun than playing by yourself or with randoms. But Helldivers actually has a very strong, like, supportive community. Obviously, there's going to be toxic people, but for the most part, if you can get in an online game with randoms, you know, they'll communicate, or maybe even not, but if you're constantly putting down pings on where to go and stuff like that, nine times out of 10, in my experience, people will help you do whatever the objective is that you're trying to do unless you're starting to run out of time. And then they'll go off and do the main mission. But they're just really supportive. Like I've never had any toxic experiences with anyone in the game. And I think I have around like 50 hours now. People are really cool and the matchmaking, I'll get into the matchmaking. I have heard some people say they have bad experiences where they're not running a meta loadout so they get kicked out, something along like, like those lines, you know? But in my experience, I have haven't had that happen to me, at least yet. You should be fine. Playing with randoms, you should be pretty good. You can still have like a great time with randoms. I've ran into some pretty cool people. Most people, you know, they're either gonna be nice or they're just not gonna talk at all. Oh, one of the things that I absolutely love about queuing with randoms um, before I go off talking about something else is that they keep you in the same game. So many games now will put you in a game with random people and then kick you back to the lobby afterwards and you never fucking see those people again. Helldivers, they join and then they can play with you as long as they want until they end up getting disconnected or they leave. It's it's really nice. So I'm going to cover the bad parts about this game and then I'm going to talk about why it's still so enjoyable to play. Just immediately, the worst issue is easily the connection. I know they have released a patch recently, I think, or at least I think they did, kind of addressing it and fixing it. And for the most part, it it is a lot better. You know, I haven't had any crazy disconnection issues when I'm playing with other PC players, but whenever me and my friends would try to play with like my dad, it was like a fight to get into the game because it would constantly kick us out or it would say somebody wasn't online or it 
wouldn't let you in the game at all and we would have to sit there and mess with it for like 20 to 30 minutes before we can even get started playing the game i think that might just be a crossplay issue but if so that's like the most glaring issue that i've came across in the entire game uh just about anywhere future me little editor's note here um they actually just updated helldivers with the mech suit and when they released it, it brought in a couple of very annoying bugs. Um, one of them is whenever you pick up stuff from like a drop pod or uh, one of the vaults, you just get frozen in place and you have to wait like at least 10 seconds before you can move again. Or you can get your teammate to just punch you really hard and it hurts. The other one is you get no mission rewards. No mission rewards at all. Um, and it really sucks. Because you can still play the game for fun. Like, the game works, it's functioning. But between the no mission rewards and the drop pods breaking, it kind of blows. Um, you do the entire mission and you get nothing for it. No super credits, no medals, anything like that. Um, hopefully, they fix it and will compensate the people that have been playing and not getting any rewards. That's all. Me, but from even farther in the future here sorry if i look like shit i just woke up and immediately started editing um and realized that the entire editor's note that i just put in didn't even talk about the meta at all which was the main reason i was making it in the update like i said they added the mech suit and broke a, a couple things that are pretty bad they also nerfed a couple things which i will put on screen for you to see and i'll just list it out they nerfed the breaker shotgun the rail gun and then they buffed the flamethrower laser cannon punisher and breaker spray and prey and another thing i forgot to add was that they added in meteor showers and tornadoes and like flaming tornadoes on some planets I haven't seen the tornadoes at all, but the meteor showers are pretty cool. I don't know if I have footage of it, but one time when I was playing, it actually ended up landing and killing a bile titan, which was pretty huge. That's all, back to the video. If you're more of a solo player, you kind of just have to adapt. You just have to, you know, persevere through trying times to be able to play this game on higher difficulties alone because it gets crazy. You gotta come up with like actual strategies for what you're wanting to do. Last issue i have with this game the defense missions like whenever you get a a major order telling you to defend certain planets that's what i really don't like i think it's incredibly boring you know it's all of the defense missions are help citizens escape or help the scientists uh, extract or whatever and then kill as many bugs or bots as possible and destroy outposts literally it those are the three missions and if you're playing on a higher difficulty you have the same three missions in every single set and they're all like i think occasionally one of them will be like 40 minutes and then the other two are 12 to 15 minutes it is extremely repetitive and really boring i do not like those missions also i know the major order has changed so we don't really have defense missions right now but the help scientists extract when it was on the bots fucking impossible dude you could not do that by yourself on anything over like extreme like it it, it was not but it was i don't I, i'm i don't i can't even speak that's how hard it was now i'm going to talk about the things i like more which is why i feel that this game is so worth playing the gameplay loop at least on the large missions is incredibly fun in my opinion even with randoms or solo or friends it's still extremely enjoyable. Like blowing up a huge horde of bots or bugs is incredibly satisfying. Like with a uh, Eagle airstrike, when I'm, and I see like, mm, Skull X24, it feels good, dude. It feels good. Just the gameplay loop in general on the larger missions is incredibly well done. There is a battle pass and a store. And I know before you freak out, I hate battle passes in stores too but I don't think I've ever seen it done as well as Helldivers 2 has done it. In Helldivers, you have 10 pages of a free battle pass, which you level up through getting these medals that you can find. I can't remember the name exactly, but going through all 10 pages will give you enough super credits, which is like the premium currency. It'll give you enough to buy the premium battle pass, which is I think a thousand credits. So you get a thousand for free completely, as long as you play. And it is 
pretty grindy. You can also get super credits in game. There are these like caches that you can blow up or safes that you can, not safes, um, vaults that you can open if you have two people. And a lot of the time they'll have like super credits or metals inside of them that you can just pick up. Same with these little like drop pods that I think it's an orange beam going up into the sky. They will also have super credits and metals uh, pretty often. So it's not like ridiculously hard to be able to save up for the battle pass. And the superstore also functions with the super credits. So you can just play the game naturally and you will eventually amass enough uh, super credits to be able to buy the battle pass and some other stuff in the store that you want. And I think the store updates every day and a half or something like that. And the store items are pretty cheap as well. If you do want to spend the money to just buy super credits outright, I, it's like, 20 bucks for like 2000 the most expensive store item i've seen was like 600 so they're pretty cheap which i really like i i love that it is so easy to buy these armor sets and everything or just get the battle pass in general they took a little a little page out of the halo infinite battle pass they don't go away the battle passes never expire so you could start two years from now and you can level up through any battle pass that is released since then if you're looking for a not full priced game that you can play with your friends or whoever or even by yourself hell divers is an amazing game it is so fucking good and the devs seem very active within the community they're very you know involved with the jokes going around and stuff um it's it's great game is super fun community is pretty cool the devs are awesome and it's 40 dollars on steam unless you want to get the super citizen edition so that you can go my dad bought the super citizen edition and i played probably like 30 to 45 minutes of the stratagem game i had so much fun doing it it's just a great game and it's 40 bucks so you know if you're looking for a game where you could play it with your friends and just kind of have a blast and enjoy yourselves and not take it too seriously the hell divers is a pretty perfect game there's nothing out really right now that offers you the same experience that hell divers does it's it's goofy almost beautifully cinematic in a way at times and it's just incredibly fun <laughs> Oh,